good point you made on those tires there yesterday and happy hour, how flat those things are. It's unbelievable. And that's something. Yeah. They just come up on the corner just. Mm -hmm. yeah. I don't see how they stand at the sidewalls. Of course, I know they build up, but they don't build up that much. They're, They're talking sure. about that nine pounds is about as low as you can go. Otherwise, under nine pounds, they have a tendency to unseal to mm -hmm. come loose from the rim. Mm -hmm. Race car. Yahoo! <laughs> Y'all. Y'all. Good day, mate. <clears throat> now, what's the matter, Z man? <clears throat> He's putting them as far away from you as is he it can, over? Benny. <laughs> He's putting those boxes as far away. He's as protective of his Wheaties as I am of my records. <laughs> What'd you do with those records, Buff? I have them uh, stashed. Yes. Did you get some here? Uh, Bill brought me a whole box full. Really? They were great. All right. Good stuff. Huh? I've got mine on a Kellogg's Corn Flakes box. There was just one made, but <laughs> yeah. uh -huh. a singular. Or what's what's the name? John T. R. Guy for Kellogg. Singler. Is it singular? Yeah, it wasn't back then though. What was his name? <coughs> Here comes the Envo.
The 2000 NASCAR Winston Cup season is down to its final seven races, and today the series visits a facility more than a half century old, Martinsville Speedway in Virginia. To the casual motorsports enthusiast, points leader Bobby the Bonnie's season stats may not seem like much. After all, he hasn't won the most races, led the most laps, or even earned the most money. All he has done is start 27 straight races without failing to finish once. And since April 30th, spanning some 22 consecutive weeks, his name and no other has set atop the standings. Impressed? Yeah, I thought so. I'll bet this team gets tired of people, people telling them what they haven't done. Bobby Labonte had never run well on road courses until this year, and he recorded top five finishes on both. Bobby had never started a backup car in the back of the field and pulled off a win until this year at Darlington. And Bobby had never won or recorded a top five finish at Martinsville until, oh yeah, that's today. Now, history tells us that true championship teams feed off adversity and draw strength from challenge, which may explain why the late Alan Kowicki's favorite quote came from legendary football coach Vince Lombardi, who said, obstacles are what you see when you take your eyes off your goals. Today, like Lombardi's, like Kowicki's, Bobby Labonte's team must have one heartbeat, one focus, one goal, which is one championship. The Kawiki comeback of 92 was a modern-day motorsports miracle. Appropriately, with seven races left this season, three drivers dream of duplicating Allen's charge to number one. Kawiki rallied for fourth place, 278 points back, with six races to go. of the 2000 Winston Cup are fading for three contenders, but the cheers for the 92 champion still echo in their mind. There is time, there is hope, there is history, but for these three men, their mission at Martinsville is clear. Win, then do the math. Dale Earnhardt got a good start on Friday. He starts 12th, his best starting position here since April of 96. His last win here, September of 95. On this flat track, Dale Jarrett has a huge mountain to climb. He has never won here, and today he starts 31st at a track where all 93 Winston Cup races have been won from a top 25 starting spot. Jeff Burton is a native of Virginia. He won this race three years ago. He's fourth in points, third on the grid, and second here in the spring. That's good, but right now, it might not be good enough. The paperclip-shaped Martinsville Speedway, with its tight turns, goes all the way back to NASCAR's rough and tumble beginnings. Passing here comes at a premium, and sometimes you have to give the guy in front of you a friendly little nudge just to let him know you want to get by. This track is a throwback, and sometimes when a car is finished here, you're better off just to throw it away. Something else they'll throw away after today's race, the brake pads, because they really get on the brakes hard here at the Martinsville Speedway. Because believe it or not, in order to go faster, you have to slow down. But the key is saving the brakes until the end, so you can go racing in the final 100 laps. Another area of concern is the rear end gear, because it really gets abused as they constantly get on and off the gas. That also makes it tough on the engines, as they turn them as much as 9,200 RPM and all the way down to 4,500. 500 laps, 1,000 cycles through the power band. So many of these crews have their fingers crossed that their engines will last. After 27 events, only 268 points separate the top four. 
Rudd and Stewart are tied for fifth. Three of the bottom four are separated by 39 points or less. Now Bobby Labonte can clinch the title by finishing sixth or better in the final seven races. He reached the 4,000 point mark after Dover. The battle among the top four is closer than last year. And Alan Kowicki proved eight years ago that it's not over until the championship is clinched. Hi everyone, I'm Bob Jenkins. Welcome once again to Martinsville, where we have been covering NASCAR Winston Cup racing since 1981. Down through the years, many times, not necessarily the fastest car won the race. And that was true in the spring, Ned. Yes, it was. Mark Martin came out the winner, and he admitted after the race that he didn't have the fastest race car. But some good pit strategy put him up front, didn't pit during the last caution when others did, stayed out there just hoping to get a top five, and he won the race. So it just proved that pit strategy and track position are very important, and it will be here again today. Something else is going to be important is getting off the corner. Watching these cars practice Friday and Saturday, I'm so impressed with the amount of horsepower that the engine builders have in these race cars today. But the crew's job is to try to get that horsepower glued to the racetrack. If they can, they get off the corner and get position on someone, they just might win the race. Today's entire 43-car field is separated by just a quarter of a second. A new track record was established in qualifying, and there have been six different winners in the last six races here. All that means it should be an exciting afternoon of racing as ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports, and the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing present the Napa Auto Care 500 live from Martinsville Speedway in Virginia. Thank you very much, Z-Man. Uh, Z-Man, sometime... Well, what's over there? I don't know where it went to. Sometime but, during the race, would you just put that back on that? <laughs> okay, Neil, we're all set. Okay. Okay. You okay, Ned? Yep. Everything's lovely. Just perfect, huh? And I'd bet there's just a few fans out here that would... Chuck, Gar Chuck Carlin. Okay. Pumped up. Owner of High Point Tire in High Point. North Carolina. He says it won't be wimpy and he wrote... Well, the, the wait is almost over. The command to get this race underway is about to be given. And here they are now. On behalf of the over 10,000 Napa Auto Care Centers in the United States, 